There's a saying, straight line beats a circle line, circle line beats a straight line. But the notion is that what you're looking for is an efficient way to move against the other way. So if we go back to the simple idea of Wing Chun Chi Sao where we're rolling. And from here I go around and I circle and I hit through. We can start to develop this skill where from here I move and hit around and hit around and hit around and hit around and hit and hit and hit and hit. Now how does that relate to Guo Sao? Because that's Chi Sao. Well, quite simply, if I've got my hands up and I'm moving around with someone, one, it gives me the ability to cut and control and to circle out. And if we go back to these ideas that we were practicing earlier where someone's punching in and I'm sticking and I'm going here and he's throwing a punch, it does allow me to bridge and stick, as you can see, but I'm feeling the pressure, so it puts a little bit of pressure on me, follow through, follow through. It allows me to change and take advantage of whatever he gives me. So the ability to find stick is something that we have to develop in our own training in Wing Chun. We have to evolve to a much more linear fashion, much less linear fashion, and much more of a less, more free-flowing manner in which what I'm trying to do is trap, but if he engages his arms and slaps around, perhaps learning how to stick, slap around, and learning how to contain his arms. After all, a person has two arms, it moves in predominantly the same way, but this key skill is what I'm not doing, is sticking and following the arms. What I am doing, if I punch this for me, one, is learning how to get in and control, one, two, his arms, one, and saving contact with him. And that is one way, very simple method, of controlling and utilizing our chi-sao skills. <laughs>